The operation is all under one roof, inside a barn built by a former educator and football coach. It's a whiskey business that started out as a way just to keep busy in retirement. You'll meet the man behind the bottle in this week's edition of Siouxland Stories. Dave Ackerman has spent most of his life working with the next generation of Siouxlanders. I was in education for 30 years. I, I was a shop teacher and, a, and a, uh, a football coach for eight years. I was a uh, high school principal for eight years, and I was a superintendent for 14 years. And I retired uh, uh, just a few years ago. And this was kind of uh, when I retired, I wanted to do something fun and something that kept me busy, and this is what I came across. This being the Rock River Distillery, now home of what Ackerman calls the American Sip and Whiskey. It's just a one-man operation. It's just me, and so it's. Uh, uh, but that's how I like it. It's I'm having fun with it. But before the barley came the grape. A trip to California inspired him to plant a northern hardy variety. But those grapes didn't take off as expected, and the product he did make went cold, literally. So what happened is I had seven carboys of uh, raspberry wine, and it got real cold one winter day, and they all froze, and I was. Uh, trying to figure out what, you know, I figured it was ruined. And so what I did was uh, Google it, come to discover I'd performed ice distilling. It said just pour the red liquid off. And so that was about a 40% uh, alcohol raspberry uh, brandy, I suppose it was. And uh, it was very tasty. It went over very well. Despite the happy accident, Ackerman shifted his focus to spirits. Looking into it and perhaps watching some episodes of Moonshiners, you think, well, you know what, I think I could do that. And so I applied for my license, started doing a bunch of researching. Uh, took about eight months to get my federal license. Uh, took another six months to get my state license. In the meantime, I uh, did a lot of experimenting, trying to figure out what it is that I liked. And what he liked was a strong oak and smoke flavor. So he tells us that is what he tries to duplicate now in his recipes. Well, I got a copper still because uh, copper, uh, I guess, works best with uh, making distilled spirits. And started experimenting and started having fun. And so I've been at this about three years. You can smell it and taste it. It's, that's right at the perfect spot. That's about 65% alcohol, but you can taste the sweetness of it. It's hit the right spot to collect. The couple things that make a difference in the taste of a whiskey is your mash bill. Our bourbon starts off with a 21% rye, 75% corn, and 4% malted barley. Uh, you know, you make a mash, you make a beer, you fer ferment it as quickly as you can, get it into the still, and from the still it goes into the barrel for two years in order to be called a straight whiskey. Uh, and after two years in the barrel, it comes out looking about like this. And so what we're trying to do is add a, add a secondary flavor to it. Uh, we have a barrel accelerator in which we try to uh, hit it with the, the oak and the char, uh, increase the surface area, really try to expose the whiskey to a lot of the oak, and so you're trying to get a different flavor profile, and from there, this is five, five weeks in, an, in the barrel accelerator. By the end, you come out with something that's dark, uh, very complex with oak and smoke flavor, and it's very smooth. Uh, from there, we proof it down to 90 proof, about 45% uh, alcohol. Uh, I like a little bit of extra alcohol bite in it, and it's, it's, uh, it's a craft whiskey, so it's made to be uh, consumed carefully and slowly. It's a sipping whiskey. Uh, it's American sipping whiskey. Uh, it's a sophisticated experience, a reflective experience, I guess, is what I'm going for. Dave says the community, liquor and grocery stores, and bars, even statewide, have been supportive and seem to be enjoying the new product. And for now, he is still running the distillery on his own. It's either going to fail miserably, and uh, that's okay. Uh, it could uh, take off and it keeps me busy for a number of years and that's okay too. And, and on the other hand, maybe somebody else wants to get, jump in on this with me and we'll see where that goes. But for now, it's, uh, it's, uh, I, I call it a hobby gone awry. Uh, it's, it was something I was having fun with and now it's kind of grown into a, into a small little business that I'm enjoying. And he adds the enjoyment factor is what started his business in the first place. You know, if one wants to become inebriated, there's all kinds of things out there to do that. There's all kinds of mixed drinks you can make. But this is a craft whiskey, like a craft beer. It's something that you want to, to taste and take in and, and, and enjoy uh, in the moment, I guess. So that's what this is about.